Lou Ferrigno stunned the world in the 1970s, securing his legendary status by winning two consecutive Mr. Universe titles. Showcasing a blend of sheer size and remarkable symmetry, his imposing physique was not only dominant in the bodybuilding scene, but also paved the way for his role as the Incredible Hulk on television. Today, Lou remains a towering figure, not just in stature, but in the fitness industry. He's a motivational speaker, personal trainer, and advocate for health and wellness. He shares a lot of advice, a lot of different tips that helped him along the way. And in this video, you're going to learn some of these tips. These are all practices you can apply today on your next training session or on your next meal. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ricky V. And in this video, I'm going to go over three bodybuilding tips from the great Lou Ferrigno. What I really like about this video is that Lou's advice can help everyone from the beginner all the way to the seasoned pro. He really knows his stuff. It has a great way of structuring his advice. And here's the first one. This is a tip for recomposition for bros looking to recomp, to lose body fat and gain muscle mass at the same time. And it's all about controlling hunger and not really going by the scale. Here, I'll let Lou explain it himself. So basically you need to exercise. So what I really recommend, which is important, that if you're gonna lose weight and put on muscle, which it can be done, basically it's all about following a basic balanced diet. Every time you eat, eat protein first, and eat the carbohydrates second, because it's where the protein feeds the muscle, and the muscle won't be craving for the carbohydrate. But at the same time, you gotta remember, when you lose fat and build muscle, don't go by the scale, because sometimes when you build muscle, you actually lose weight, you think you're going to lose 10 pounds, you maybe lose 3 pounds because the rest of the time they build the muscle. That's why I would say... That is great advice. Make sure to keep your protein high and your carbohydrates low. And in the meals where you're having your protein with your carbohydrate, Lou advises for you to eat the protein first and eat the carbohydrates later in the meal. Eating your food this way is meant to help you control appetite, to help you be less hungry in between meals. Now the second piece to this recomposition advice is don't worry about the scale. Don't obsess over the scale. If you're training hard and eating right, you could just be losing body fat at the same time that you're gaining muscle mass. So worrying about the scale is not the best way to recomposition, especially those of us using exogenous anabolic hormones right along with our training program. You're more likely to lose body fat and gain substantial amounts of muscle mass when you're running anabolic hormones. So make sure to go by the mirror, take progress pictures, measurements, it's a much better way to track your progress than the scale. And now for tip number two, and this is important, quality versus quantity. Lou Ferrigno really wants you to use proper technique. Use weights that allow you to perform the exercises properly, that allow you to get a full range of motion and isolate the muscle without cheating the movements, without hurting your back. Here, I'll let Lou explain it. I can't tell you how many times I'm in the gym and I see guys do curls like this. You know, swinging motion, and they go to the motion. But the important thing is that you have to be, have to be reminded of it time to time, what you do is get a grip. I would say slightly wider than shoulder width. Not very wide. See my shoulder? My hand's slightly wider than shoulder grip. I'm standing upright, have a good posture. See, I'm standing sideways. I'm not leaning forward, I'm not leaning back. You get a good grip on the hand, you come up slowly to the neck, and you squeeze, you come down slow. Nice and easy like this. Slow and strict. Squeeze is repetition. That's quality. Quantity is to go to the motion. I can't tell you how many guys that seem to do a cure that sometimes they cure maybe almost a hundred pounds or more they swing. Man, this is fantastic. I'm so strong. They hurt themselves. But when you train with quality, it's not the weight, it's the form. Quality builds muscle. The weight comes gradually. And that is great advice. Proper form. Make sure to perform the exercises properly. Only use weights that allow you to perform the exercise properly. Your training partner can help you get the bar up even while you maintain proper form. So keep that in mind. And now for the last tip, we're going to go back into the diet here. Lou has some more advice on how to lose fat. And this is something that I've been telling my listeners for over two decades. The best and most effective way to lose body fat. Here, I'll let Lou explain it. You could do all the cardio and crunch it from the womb to the tomb. But in order to lose the fat, you must control the fork and spoon. Man, that is poetry to my ears. This is 100% correct advice, guys. I see so many bros out there looking for the best diet program, the best diet supplement. You just need to take the utensils out of your mouth. Eat less. I've had bros ask for help. 
unable to lose weight. And whenever we audit their eating habits, we find out that they're eating way more than they think, consuming way more calories than they're consciously able to process. Most of you out there suffering, unable to lose weight, you just need to eat less. And all the cardio in the world and all of the exercise is not going to make up for the fact that you have a poor diet, that you have poor self-control. This is awesome advice from a bodybuilding icon, advice you can start following today. All right, guys, and those were the three bodybuilding tips from Lou Ferrigno. If you'd like to discuss this video with other like-minded bros, make sure to head over to vintage-muscle.com and click on the community link. As of today, we're 22,000 strong and counting. Just come on in. And if you would like to know what the best pro-hormone cycle is for recomposition and reshaping your body, make sure to ask in the community. Give us your stats, your age, your weight, body fat percentage, and what your goals are. Include some pictures if you like. And there will be plenty of other bros there, just like you, on the same journey, offering advice, sharing information, product reviews. It's a whole community, and we're all there, trying to better ourselves, trying to gain some muscle and stay lean. We refuse to have a dad bod. We want the jacked bod. And I'll be there, sharing my journey as well. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.